Visiting Wolfboro, one might perceive a certain well-heeled patina. From Brewster Academy, the exclusive boarding school which lines the main boulevard, to the many estates overlooking Lake Winnipesaukee. One of those estates belongs to Mitt Romney, who was an enormous hit in these parts in 2012. Yet Wolfboro's downtown shops portray an emphasis on simple and basic, with the notable exception of the Khaled Gallery, featuring the extravagant artistry of jewelry designer Jennifer Khaled. I tend to be considered a, a painter versus a, you know, typical French jeweler. There is nothing typical about Khaled's work. Her palette these days consists primarily of Australian boulder opals framed in 22 karat gold with the occasional diamond or ruby added in. It's a stone driven line. So each of those stones, they're squares, they're rounds, they're ovals, they're asymmetrical stones. And so for me, when I'm putting together a piece, what I'm trying to create is out of imbalance balance. A millimeter shift a particular stone so that that shape is more of a beautiful line matters. As far as color goes, you have to make sure it doesn't become gaudy. You want it to really to be elegant and beautiful. And that purple, if it's too purple in the magenta way versus the blue way, it matters. And so it really is a, you know, a dance between, you know, those types of elements that you work with. Khaled acquires her opals from Australian miner Bill Casso, seen in this film made by Khaled herself. I have always used opal. I've always bought opal from Bill, but about five years ago we started dating, and so now I have an enormous supply of <laughs> opals. I get first pick, so it is a love affair of both. That collaboration is a boon to customers, many of whom are now loyal collectors, and many of them hail from New York City. There's a lot of Manhattan that buys because they want to be the first, and that's my customer. So I sell to a lot of women who are very high-powered executives, lawyers, whatever, because they're not afraid to purchase something new. They would have bought Picasso before Picasso was Picasso. These are my customers, and those people live here too. So that's why it works. While Jennifer Khaled has lived in Alaska and Arizona, among other places, she is a native of Wolfboro, New Hampshire. I ended up wanting to stay here so that my kids could, you know, grow up in this area. I grew up on the lake. It's hard to leave the lake when you've been raised on a lake. So yeah, it's, it's been a good town to me. The community is very supportive of the arts here. They really love having artists in this town. They support us.